Hey guys, it's been a while since I have done a sold video uh, for eBay, so I thought I'd go ahead and make one. Uh, personally, these are some of my favorite videos <clears throat> that I watch of other YouTubers because I always learn a lot from what other people are selling. And this is a great way to get some good bolos in a short amount of time and, you know, just get some bang for your buck. Hopefully find this stuff out in the wild because that's what this is really all about, trying to learn more so you can become a better reseller. Um, I've been doing a lot of retail arbitrage over the winter, so I've been selling a lot of retail stuff, so you're going to see some of that. A lot of it I've been sending into Amazon, but uh, some of it I'm restricted on, so I just go ahead and sell it on eBay. So um, let's get started. The Skull Candy headphones I picked up retail for 5 bucks, Sold them for $17.99, free ship. This uh, binder, I got this clearance for 2 bucks. Sold it. Uh, it took a best offer for $20 plus shipping. I got four or five of these Scar Zone uh, creams uh, retail for like a dollar, something really cheap, uh, clearance down. And uh, I've sold, I think, two or three of these so far. Uh, Fourteen forty nine, free shipping. Some more retail arbitrage. I got these Yankee candles, and I did a variation listing because I had six different scents. I've sold quite a few. I've sold seven of these already. So about a third of my my inventory. I think I paid like four or five dollars a piece for these, uh, selling them for fourteen fifty. And most of the time, I think the two sales I've had one person bought three and another person bought four. So um, those are moving pretty well. Got these spark plugs. I got like probably a hundred of these things. Um, they were all clearance down to like fifty cents a buck. They're not selling super fast, but they're doing all right. Um, I'm, I'm grouping them like pairs of two, three things like that. And this lot sold for eleven dollars free ship. The Lego Batman game I got four dollars new in the plastic sold for fifteen ninety nine free shipping. Uh, I got this at a yard sale. This is a Naruto Shippuden. I'm probably mispronouncing that. I paid a buck for it. Um, a lot of Xbox three sixty games just aren't worth very much money, but I thought this one looked kind of different, so I looked it up and it looked like it was selling pretty good. I got thirteen dollars free ship with this, and it had the manual and everything too, so I think that helped it. Just got this cell phone over the weekend, actually. I paid $2 or $3 for it. Um, it was a new in the packaging, and I got $39.99 for it. Uh, I got this router bit set a couple months back at a sale. I just bundled it with a bunch of stuff, so I probably had 5 bucks into it. I took a best offer of $25 plus shipping. It was nice, too. I don't think it ever really got used. Street Fighter 2, uh, I picked this up on Saturday. I got this and three other Super Nintendo games for $30, which sounds like a lot, but they're pretty good titles, like Zelda, Super Street Fighter, Super Mario, Mario World. I think, I think I've sold through all of them, actually. Some more of them are coming up here. Here is that Halsey Badlands record I got on Saturday for 3 bucks. I sold it for $16.99, free ship, and it's going to go media mail. So it's only going to cost me probably... Two dollars and seventy cents to ship. Got these Skechers shoes at a yard sale. Gosh, probably like nine months ago, a year ago, something like that. Um, they had their box and everything. I took a best offer of sixteen dollars. I really just wanted to get rid of these things and get them moved. Uh, and shipping was extra. Here's a Mario Kart Wii case. No manual, no game. Uh, sold it for six ninety nine. I've done all right with some of the cases. If it's a better game. Okay, Donkey Kong, that's the other game that I got in that Super Nintendo lot. So I paid 30 bucks. I got Donkey Kong, Zelda, Super Mario All-Stars, Mario World, and that first one that I just sold, Street Fighter. Not a huge ROI, but I definitely made some money on it. Here is a Louisville Slugger Bat. This thing is really nothing special. Um, I think I got it for free or for a dollar or something. I've had it for a pretty good while. I took it by software of $8 plus shipping. I just kind of wanted to get rid of it. Here is a PS2 Slim. I tested this. It worked great. It had the uh, power cord, AV cable, controller, the whole thing. I got a box of video games at a yard sale. I think it's been a couple weeks now. And they had like two PS2 Slims, um, like a GameCube controller, some odds and ends. I paid 15 for the box. And I sold the other Slim too. It's coming up here. GoldenEye 007. I sold this for $23.00. Free shipping. This was in the lot of N64 games I got on Saturday. The Dark Crystal VHS. I don't do a whole lot of VHS tapes, and I didn't pay for this one, actually. I got a tote of uh, free VHS, a bunch of kids' movies, and there's probably like 40 of them in there. The guy just gave them to me when I bought his $5 TV, and this one was in there. So I'm like, yeah, I get a few bucks for this. 
that'll go media mail as well. Here's the other PS2 Slim. It's the silver edition. It's worth a little bit more than the black, but I did not have a controller for it. You know what? I think it had a silver controller, but I plugged it in and the controller was like malfunctioning really badly. So I just took it out, put it in a working controller, and uh, made sure everything was playing fine, and it was. Here's that Super Mario game. Uh, $27.99, free shipping. I think I've sold all those games except for the Zelda of that four-game lot I bought. Uh, Super Mario 64, sold this for 25 free shipping. This is in that uh, bundle I got on Saturday. I got the N64 console with like a dozen games for 25 bucks, And I've been pulled some of the better games out. I'm selling them separate. And then I listed the 64 with four games and two controllers for $65 today. Tested it out. It worked great. Here is Mario Party that I got out of that bundle. Sold it for 25 bucks. Free shipping. Here is a little vest I got, uh, retail arbitrage. New in the packaging, I paid like two or three bucks for it. Sold for $13.79, free shipping. Here's another bat that I sold. Um, this one sold for full price, $17.99. This is a really weird bat, actually. So it's 32 inches and 28 ounces, and it's a big barrel, so it's definitely a baseball bat. It's not a softball bat. And that, that, weight and length difference is just really weird so the difference between the length and the weight is what they'll call like a minus or a drop uh, so it's a drop four and high schoolers play with a, uh, a drop three so maybe there's like a middle schooler that's getting ready to use a high school bat and he wants to use this for training or something but this is definitely a funky bat probably i bet this bat's 25 30 years old this thing is really cool. I love these old toys. This is an old uh, play school, little people holiday inn set. Uh, I was at a yard sale. They wanted five. I got it for three and had some little people with it and the little holiday inn topper. Apparently that topper actually doesn't go there. It just kind of sits loose. I think it's like a roadside attraction thing that's just supposed to like sit. It doesn't really attach, but pretty cool piece. Got $29.99 plus shipping. Another cool piece, I got this at the yard sale next to the other yard sale where I got that Holiday Inn toy. Uh, this is a Dungeons and Dragons game. It is like a computer thing. So like the the you press like different buttons and it makes noises and you do corresponding things. It's kind of cool. I only paid a dollar for it and I was shocked. It was actually complete. <laughs> I looked in the owner's manuals, looking at you know all the pieces that were supposed to come and everything, and everything was there. It was complete. I put in a nine volt battery. Tested it, worked great. So for $35 plus shipping. Uh, here's a GPS. This is actually my old GPS. Um, I've, I've always enjoyed using a GPS, like having something separate than my phone, but I just can't justify it anymore because like with the Waze app, the uh, the directions are just so much better and they get me to places a lot faster. So had to get rid of the GPS. Sold it for $75 plus shipping. Here is an Xbox 360 memory unit. It's a uh, genuine Microsoft product. I got this in a bundle of stuff at a sale. I probably had a dollar or two into it. Sold for $19 free shipping. Here is a Symphonic DVD VCR combo. Um, not a very good brand, but still sold all right. I got this in an estate sale. It was like 30 minutes before the estate sale was going to close, so they were just giving stuff away. I think I paid two or three dollars for this thing. Uh, tested it out, worked great. Has the remote, the manual, cords, cables, like whole nine yards it was in really good shape too sold it for $34.99 plus shipping all right last but not least is a crusty old bat I got um, this is a slow pitch bat old older slow pitch softball bats do generally do really well if you find the right ones and you can always get them for cheap I got this thing for two dollars I probably could have got a little bit more money but at the end of the barrel the paint was starting to like chip off if it was in better shape, I would have priced it at 100 bucks. Somebody, it's funny, I went to bed one night. And after I went to bed, somebody messaged me asking if I would take $70 for it. And after they did that, a couple hours, they just went ahead and bought it and paid the full price. So they, they must have wanted it, wanted it badly. And I had some watchers on it too, so I don't think I would have taken the $70. But yeah, keep an eye out for old bats, guys. Um, I did a video specifically about buying and reselling baseball bats and softball bats if you want to check that out that's it guys uh, i'll try to do another one of these next week and show you what else i sell thanks for watching